So the Martin Gell is a uh, it's a decision theory and a betting system that was formalized in the 18th century in France. Um, a friend of mine was coming back from a Vegas trip and he was telling me about his uh, his roulette strategy and what he would do is he would watch a roulette wheel either go red or black several times in a row and then he would bet against it. So the way the martingale works is if you have two possible outcomes. Now with roulette there are green spaces on a roulette wheel so it's not quite two, two possible outcomes but let's pretend it's a coin toss. So you have two possible outcomes, it's one of two. If you uh, have two coin tosses in a row uh, and you lose both, the odds are now one of four. And if you have three coin tosses in a row, uh, your the odds of that happening are now one of eight. So with each coin toss, you have two possible outcomes, but uh, the odds are that the streak will end before the streak continues. So uh, by using the those odds in your favor, you increase your bet to cover all of your previous losses. So, but if you're able to do that, you uh, theoretically would never lose. So it's a winning strategy. Okay, to demonstrate, let's do some work in Excel. There's an Excel function called a rand. It randomly generates a number between zero and one. I've uh, applied some conditional formatting to this cell. It will display black if the randomly generated number is at or above 0.5 and it will display red if the random generated number is below 0.5. Uh, this will represent a, uh, uh, the 50-50 chance of a coin toss. So if I drag this formula down this many times, it uh, shows a simulation of doing this many coin tosses in a row. So you can see there are streaks, but at the same time, if you're using the Martingale system, you would always have the opportunity to win back all of your losses, and thus you would never lose but it will cost you. If we uh, do a simulation of a money line situation where you would lose every hand in a row, uh, let's say you bet $50 and you lose, so now you're out $50 uh, in each hand after that, you bet enough to break even, so we multiply that by a negative one to make it a positive number and your new balance would be your previous balance minus the last bet. You can see it very quickly becomes a large number. If you were in a casino, you would be at the max betting limit uh, within four to seven hands. And you can see from our simulation, happens quite frequently. You can also see that you'd be a million dollars deep in betting capital relatively quickly. So for the Martingale to be a winning strategy, you would need a infinite amount of betting capital, no limit on betting size, and an infinite amount of time. Even having unlimited betting capital and unlimited time would not be enough to overcome the house advantage of the betting limit at a casino. It would never work in a casino. It would never work in a casino, but there are other applications where the Martingale can work for you in the non-gaming world. We'll talk more about that later. And for my Warren Buffett quote, the first rule is to not lose any money. And the second rule is to never forget the first rule.